Hey everybody, welcome back to Cask and Kira Whiskey and Barbecue Meat. I'm your host, Justin Lloyd, and today we're gonna smoke up some beef tenderloin, so stick around. Okay everybody, so what we have here is a five and three quarter pound beef tenderloin. We're gonna trim this up and get the Chateaubriand cut, which is really essentially the, the thickest part of the, uh, of the tenderloin, so from about right here to right here. And what we'll do is discard these other pieces. Well, we'll cut them off. We're not gonna discard them. We'll cut them right there. And we're gonna save that for some uh, burger grind or something else. We can throw those on the grill for snacks or whatever you wanna do with it. Uh, but I like to save it for, for, uh, for grind. All right, so we're just gonna cut the end off right here. Okay. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side. We have a little bit of, of uh, a chain right here, but we're gonna get to that here in just a minute. Let me get that guy out of the way. Just make sure you have a sharp knife. Obviously I haven't sharpened mine in a little while and it's showing. All right. So at this point, we're just gonna separate this muscle right here, you can kind of see where that uh, separation naturally occurs in the muscle. And same thing on this side. Sometimes you can pull it apart, but um, I only have a glove on one hand, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it. Our next step is to remove any silver skin. See, we have a little bit of a flap there that's left, but eh, I may go ahead and remove that just for, just to make it more uniformed. Okay. See, you're left over with a lot of beef. So this is expensive meat and you don't want to just throw that away. I mean, that's actually a really nice little roast right there. Um, and so is this one. So you hate to get rid of it. So I recommend keeping it for grind. Uh, you can do a million things with it, stew, whatever you want to do. So that kind of leaves us with a really nice, um, the really nice cut. That's just really pretty. So um, the silver skin right here, we're going to go ahead and get our boning knife under that and remove it. And you gotta be careful at this point. You don't wanna dig into the meat and remove meat. You're trying to save as much of that meat as you can. So just like that, take the silver skin off. Kinda of point your blade upward and move along that roast. So what we're going to do at this point is apply a little um, Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire, however you say it. That's going to act as our bind for the rub. And our rub today 
is just my home blend of uh, salt, pepper, onion, garlic, and that's a coarse grind, uh, 16 mesh black pepper, and just your regular kosher salt. And I like using this, uh, this sauce as a, as a binder because it has a good beefy flavor. It adds some extra flavor. It doesn't take a lot. Just enough to cover the, the tenderloin. So we'll go ahead and apply a rub. Okay guys, we're back at the smoker. So we're running about 275. We let the tenderloin sit with rub, um, the, the rub that we applied on it for about an hour just to make sure that it got good and tacky and absorbed into the meat a little bit for a little bit of extra flavor. So uh, before I put this guy on, we're gonna go ahead and burp this grill a little bit, make sure a flame doesn't shoot up at us and uh, add a little cooking spray so that the tenderloin doesn't stick to the grates. All right, let's get this guy on and get to cooking. All right. So we're going to let that guy go until we get an internal temp of about 125. So I'll go ahead and insert a probe, make your own jokes into the thickest part of the tenderloin. All right, we're gonna let that go for about an hour and a half and uh, hopefully it'll reach 125 within that time frame. See you at the cutting board. All right. Looks pretty. Ow. Okay, it looks good. So we're gonna go ahead and let that rest, like I said, for a little while. And then we're gonna slice into it. So we'll see you back at the cutting board. Okay, everybody. So we've let this rest on the cutting board for about 30 minutes and here's what we're looking at you can tell that it's really juicy and that crust is held up um, we're gonna go ahead and slice into this guy and see what we got and I like to go um, about a little bit thicker than what you would for a ribeye slice or a uh, prime rib slice so that looks about right. Man, that looks really good to me. Juicy. Good color. I think that's gonna be just about what we're looking for. Move this one off to the side. That's that end cut. I'm gonna save that for myself. We're gonna go right here and get another slice. Man, I tell you, this smells awesome. You guys gotta try this. Oh, nailed it. I mean, look at the juices coming out of that thing. It's beautiful. Now, I did overshoot. I went to 127, but uh, I'm telling you, I think that's gonna eat just fine. You see all the juices run out here. You know, we've rested it for quite a while and that's just gonna happen sometimes, but you know what? You get to kind of sop some of that up and you know I'm gonna have to try a bite. Here we go. 
know, you gotta get in there and get some of that seasoning and some of that juice. There you go. That's what you want right there. Oh my God. Look, if you haven't done this, then you need to try it. You guys gotta get a hold of a beef tenderloin and do this. Okay guys, so the cook is finished up. Just to recap, what we did is uh, we put a uh, five and three quarter pound beef tenderloin on the smoker. But after we trimmed it, we probably took off about, I don't know, pound and a half, two pounds of meat. Um, and we put that on the smoker. Uh, we let that go with apple wood chunks with royal oak lump charcoal. Uh, it took about an hour and a half. Uh, we ran the smoker to about 275 and um, we came up with some delicious slices. Very peppery. You got a little bit of that salt, onion and garlic mixed in. And man, we went to 127. I, want, I was looking for 125, but I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, so I kind of overshot it just a little bit, but it didn't matter. It's still tender and delicious. So we're gonna pair this with some uh, mayonnaise-based potato salad and some cheesy corn. It's gonna be delicious. The next time you're at the grocery store, if you find a good deal on a beef tenderloin, then snag it up, throw it on the smoker, follow the recipe. It's gonna be in the description box below, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by Cask and Q, where whiskey and barbecue meet. We'll see you next time.